Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a EDAPS tutorial series, and uh, in this video, we will learn about that how can we draw slab, beam, and column, and also we will assign the fixed support to foundation. So, let's start. Here is our plan and uh, we'll draw that beam and column there have uh, two types of column and uh, the similar beam and uh, you can use the different types of beam uh, I mean different shape of beam as your requirement so uh, in previous video we have uh, draw our grid system that how can we draw grid system if you don't see you can see that from uh, the link given in this uh, description and also the full link the tutorial link are given in description and uh, here uh, that there have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the this ten column are center point of the beam I mean uh, the intersection point of that beam but here that column and that column are not in center point so first of all we'll draw our beam and then we'll draw slab and then we'll draw our column so first of all open it as 2016 And uh, if you uh, don't didn't see my previous video, you can see that from uh, the playlist given uh, full in description. So first of all, we'll open our previous model. Here is our previous model. So in here. Open a 3D from from here you can add another window, add new windows, and it's 3D from here. You're giving that uh, it is in forest red, and uh, first of all, I will delete uh, from here. I will delete. No. The above to a right and then I will repl replicate that. So first of all, uh, edit. So from here, modify, delete S2, delete, again, delete S3, and uh, our building height will be 10 feet. Also, and fit. Okay. Okay. So here you are seeing that our estimate height is ten feet to ten. So um, there have another thing that from here. plan view and this is our 3d view so from here uh, that one thing from base floor to from uh, this is the foundation point and this is the base floor and this uh, height is also 10 feet so you can change that change that here according to your foundation depth from the first floor I'm again going to change that it sorry from here modify here suppose you want to give it six feet okay okay yeah our first first floor height is six feet and second floor height is 
ten feet. Again. View second floor apply. Okay, so here first of all, we'll uh, we're in second floor, so in second floor. Will draw from here. You can draw the required thing from here, and uh, we'll use that tools. This is for draw beam, this is for manually draw quick beam, and here column. First of all, we'll draw beam as a uh, every heard beam size of beam is same. So, here the beam size is. 10 into 18 so that is the beam uh, you can draw it simply by clicking on it and also there are another way ctrl z the just click here and select wall then all beam are here again go to the lower portion and again select that this is the History one for history one, and this for history two. Yeah, and uh, we all know that in a uh, ground floor there have no slab. So click here. There have three way. First of all, draw floor, and here for rectangular floor, and here for quick draw floor. So first of all. click here you have to draw your slab manually so I'm going to show you that first of all you have to go second floor then I'm just opening from here show boundary panel click here when sorry for that portion we have to open boundary line so here we're in second floor now we'll draw our slab first of all click on it then uh, if you use that that tool then you have to first of all have to select our slab so here we are using six inch slab then first of all click here and then again click here then again click here and again click here and here is our slab in that way you can draw slab but uh control z if you draw slab rectangle for rectangular slab you can easily click here sorry click here and do it here it's a rectangular slab and also there have another way quick draw big slab click click here click on it it will draw slab automatically so this is our slab I think this is a very uh, easy portion and then we will draw our column so from draw quick column click here and uh, after that we have to select it for all a story all a story and here is the main thing uh, in column 14 inch into 14 inch from plan this is our center point of the beam to beam cross section so from here 14 here you have to select that middle middle center middle center or you can use the center right 
del centro or centroid or just uh, for centroid you just use that centroid this is a very easy way so from here so uh, that portion we have to click here also click here also click here so click here click here click here and here then here also here here and we know that these two columns are different from so we have to select here 14 to 18 is and here is here is a important thing that our column is our uh, the long distance in according to y direction and short distance is according to x direction but simply I'm just going to show you that here you are saying that the long distance are showing in x direction and short distance are showing in y direction but in autocad it's not that so that's why we have to rotate it about 90 degree so angle rotate angle 90 degree first of all we have to rotate here that 90 degree so now you are seeing that here you are seeing that now the long distance are according to y axis and short dis distance are according to x axis but they have another problem that the center point the center point of that column are not in the cross sectional point of two beam that's why we have to change here something and we're seeing that here the from center point this is the center point I mean the cross-sectional point of two beam and from that point I mean uh, this point this point is that point this is the that point I mean the cross-sectional point and uh, in AutoCAD from uh, that point to that point from that point to that point the distance is 11 inch and from that point to that point the distance is 0 0.7 inch and uh, in x direction both are same they are in middle point so we have to change here something suppose here we will use that plan offset in x direction and plan offset in y direction if we increase that so plan offset in x direction in c and plan offset in y direction is so we're seeing that the in x direction there have no change so we have to change in y direction i mean in y direction so uh, in y direction we're seeing that our column will will be some distance in below so from here uh, I can close that go here 90 degree and 90 degree so from here we'll uh, we calculate something from here that so total distance of the height I mean the long distance is 18 inch so the middle point of column will be 9 the middle point of column will be 9 so we're seeing that the column is 2 inch below the center point 2 inch below the center point I mean the cross sectional point at the center point of the column is 2 inch below I mean in uh, its move 2 inch in y direction negative uh, if we see that direction in negative so in negative direction so 
that side we'll just uh, calculate that from uh, that point to that point the distance is 11 but the center point of that column is 9 from that point to center point the distance is 9 so we'll uh, subtract that value 11 minus 9 so we'll get 2 so we'll use a minus 2 if we give plus 2 then it will go up or if, if if we get if we give minus 2 then it will get minus 2 from that center point so here we'll give it minus 2 minus 2 then click here again then click here and you are seeing that the column is minus 2 I mean it is in not in the same here there have some difference in that distance like here close that go here and uh, here we have draw or beam column and slab and then we'll delete that portion of slab that portion of slab because uh, select here and press delete because this is not there will not be slab there will be a in this portion we'll draw a ester according to plan if they have a ester so in another video we'll draw ester and here is our beam column and slab the draw then we'll go the base apply we'll, from here to here we'll select wall sorry before that uh, control z obviously we have to maintain here on a story only then select here go to assign join restrain and from here we have to select the fix support apply if you see here there is a fix support here and uh, if we want to see it in extrude mode click here so here and is on 3d form of that building and uh, in next video we learn that how to draw a stair and then we'll apply load on it I mean dead load live load we'll apply on it also uh, floor finishing load and also partition all load on it and then we'll replicate our building as our desired floor so it's up to today and if you have any problem about it you can contact me thank you thank you very much still connected